So when he has received a certain amount of new knowledge, that he goes into the Hermeticist Hermit. Hello, Divine Ones. This is Ashley for FD 1111 Ministries, home of Tarot, Bible, and Alchemy. I wanted to first start off with the Fool card. So the Fool traditionally is about beginning your life's path and being led by the Spirit throughout the deck. This is like a person that's going on a journey and they mature pretty much as they move throughout the deck. But there's so much more information regarding this card here. So let's start with the number zero. The number zero represents the starting point and it represents full circle. So you have the feminine and the masculine energy that comes together to create one whole. We have here the sun and the sun represents the victory. It represents being seen in the light, being completely illuminated and having everything illuminated. So for me with Tarot, Bible and Alchemy, this is the element connected to salt. So this leads us into the Trinity. So I'm going to explain this really, really quickly about the Trinity. So you have the three, the three stages or three grades of initiation. And you have the fool, the hermit, and then the magician. This represents the trinity. So you have the salt. The alchemical trinity would be salt, sulfur, and mercury. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, death, burial, and resurrection. Then you have the mental, spiritual, and physical. I will get into these other cards at another point in time, but let's continue to decode this card. So if you like, you can go check out our website at www.fd11-11ministries.org and you can find a complete breakdown of this card. Now there's so much information. So like the fool, the fool is led by the spirit. The fool has this internal knowing about something. So they continue on this journey. So they're dressed like a vagabond. So a vagabond is someone that goes from place to place. They do not have any groundings to keep them in that one place. So they have the, the freedom to move about. You have the ledge here. So anybody that was will approach a ledge, they initially would stop or go back the other way, but the fool continues on. So I call this my faith card. So when you first beginning on your spiritual evolution, you may stumble, you may fall, but guess what? You never completely fall. You know what I'm saying? You may trip up, but you do not completely fall. We're going to go into his clothing. He has here the eight wheel. The eight wheel represents the chakras, represents Dharma. His little, uh, arm part of his shirt, I don't know what you would call it, sleeve, if you will, has the, the measurements, the marks. And so anciently, the measurements, everything is based off of measurements. Um, this could be considered Hermes. This could be connected to Mercury as well, the planet Mercury, because of the fact that the measurements, so he knows how to measure and weigh things in his life. His measurements may seem to be off because he's starting on a new journey, but he knows what he's doing because he, his measurements are divine. The rod here, the staff, the rod, the staff represents passion. It represents decision making. It represents discipline. And he has that on his back. If you pull into his bag, in his bag, he has everything that he needs. You also have here the eagle for higher viewpoint, higher wisdom, higher knowledge. The red feather represents the, the Christos energy, represents a higher level of understanding. This also represents an alchemy, like a almost like a priesthood, if you will. It represents like the highest alchemical state that one can, can arrive to. The white rose, white for peace. And when the vagabond or when the fool smells the rose that is connecting with the spirit this represents quintessence the fifth element the ethers the white dog the dog is faithful humble the white dog the dog itself will warn one of 
danger will lead and guide to stay on the right path because they have a good sense of smell. So this in this card represents the Holy Spirit. Here, like I was saying, salt in the back. This is the, 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 the path that has been traveled already. And one can look over all of the trials, all of the, the tribulations, all of the territory that they have covered to come to a certain point. And the fool can look back and see where they have been. So the fool traditionally doesn't represent like a fool, like someone that is stupid, someone that doesn't know something, someone that doesn't have respect. It's actually the opposite. This fool has the highest respect because they do not fall into the normal circumstances of society. The fool is alpha. The alpha represents the first. This in Kabbalah, the fool represents the safra of chukmah. Chukmah is wisdom. So the fool has a great amount of wisdom, but it's not earthly wisdom. It's higher wisdom. The fool is on a information and spiritual journey. So they are here to catch as much information as they possibly can. You see, he's just on a, a quest for knowledge. So when he has received a certain amount of new knowledge that he goes into the hermeticist, hermit, singular, a hermeticist is solo. And they process that information. And when they process that information, they're there, they're, they are therefore ready to put that information into action. And we will decode these cards later, but I had to explain that a certain way. The fool completes his journey at the world card, number 21. So two plus one equals three, the Trinity, the completion. You also have the four seasons rep represented here with Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aries. The zero point. So this is also connected, the zero point is also connected to Aries, the spring equinox. In the beginning of the of the year in the beginning the beginning there was nothing and out of nothing came wisdom it represents the very beginning the full car also represents salt like how i was saying so salt is a purifier as well as a preservant the biblical sex said that we are the collective the salt of the world we are here to preserve and to heal so the fool is also a healer. When he goes on his journey, he heals by being an example to the world of self-expression, of non-conformity, about being aligned with the spirit. So the fool is an air energy associated with all air signs, but especially Aquarius, associated with the planet Saturn and Uranus. And what the reason why I say Saturn, because esoterically, um, the Saturn is the first sun, but it eventually burnt out. So with the sun back here, you have, you know, technically from that viewpoint, you have two suns, the first sun, and then the sun now, and it comes full circle around as we continue to travel through the galaxy, as the fool continues to travel. With Aries traveling throughout the entire zodiac wheel, the fool also has pomegranates on his clothing. And pomegranates represent wisdom as well. And it's connected to the number 613. And there, it is said that there's 613 seeds in a pomegranate, 613 bones in a human body. And it's 613 laws in the Torah. So this individual is not only just wise, but they are like the beginning. They, they have a different type of wisdom. And they like um, in the beginning stages before the Christ came to the earth. This card is also associated with I am that I am. I am the Alpha and the Omega, full circle. Another way is Alpha and then Omega at the end of the journey, which is another full circle. 
with the staff of mastery and discipline, the fool may not know exactly what their spiritual gifts are, which represented by the wand or the, the baton. But as he continues on, that he learns his and master, he learns and masters his spiritual gifts. So at first on the shoulder, then leaning on those gifts and then mastering the gifts, the, sel the selenite wand over here. It turns from the wooden wand to a selenite wand, the mastery of the energy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments and your opinions about the full card. Look forward to hearing about that and reading all of your comments. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can receive notifications when we post new information like this and our other ascended information. If you're interested in donating, that, that link is down below. Thank you guys so much for that. And if you're interested in donating on a continual basis, then you can join our Patreon family. There you will receive free monthly readings as well as the other incident information that we have over there. Be sure to check out our website at www.fd11-11ministries.org. So we will cover the world card. This is Ashley for FD1111 Ministries and this is the Tarot, Bible, and Alchemy series. All right, peace.